here at Goodison Park as Everton take on Arsenal in a massive Premier League clash. Everton have got a stunning record at Goodison Park against Arsenal with Sean Dyche winning his first ever game as Everton manager against the Gunners last year. Arsenal though are in impressive form and have began the season unbeaten and with a brilliant win against Man United two weeks ago. Today, as well as the football, we're going to be doing something very special. I'm going to be meeting one of my subscribers in Liverpool Town Centre and giving them a free ticket to today's game. So it's time to cross to me where I'm waiting for Kareem to give him his free ticket for today's game. I hope he's excited as me. Here we are, we're here with Kareem. You've got a free ticket today, Kareem. Are you excited? Very much. Absolute legend. No worries, mate. What is your score prediction today? Arsenal Everton. It's going to be a difficult game. We're going for a big, massive 2 1 Arsenal win. 2 1 Arsenal win. Let's see if that happens, bro. But without further ado, it's time for me and Kareem to head to Goodison Park. I know I've no idea how to get there, but we'll find a way. Oh, Let's go. Maybe one day in my life, City might win here and I'll be there to see it. Okay, we've made it into Goodison Park. Me and Karim are here. Our view is okay. It's not too great, but it's Goodison Park. We're going to have to deal with it. Arsenal, no Havertz. It is Vieira that comes into that midfield. Ben White is back at right back. More of a usual look for Arsenal. Well, a lot of Everton players didn't go on international break as well, so their players are going to be ready. Sean Dyche has named his full strength team. Uh, Dyche's last win against Arsenal was the first win of his managerial career here at Everton. A 1 0 win in Goodison Park really come to help City out, and Arsenal is a poor three points drop for them. Arsenal haven't won here since 2017. As stated in the intro, let's see what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a close game. I think Everton are going to be here to defend. But I think if Arsenal get the first goal, they're probably going to win this game. I am going to go 2-0 Arsenal as a neutral score prediction. But if Everton hold out and they get the first goal, it'll be a different game. And out come the top bees. We have a fantastic view with the roof and the pillars here. But we're going to make do. The Gunners come out to train as well in front of their fans that are restricted due to this I don't even know what that is, like an energy generator. The atmosphere is up, we are ready. Here we go then, Everton versus Arsenal at Goodison Park. It's going to be a good one. Here we go then, we're off, Arsenal kick us off. Let's have a good game. In the first five minutes, Arsenal dictating the play. It's coming from Rice in that midfield and Erdegaard just advancing at that Everton back four. Everton looking compact and looking composed on the ball, especially defensively. Like that was a great challenge there, but the game's even. For the Arsenal fans that we can see are making the racket here at Goodison Park. Atmosphere's pretty good. Controversy and Martinelli scores, but did Nketiah come back from an offside position? The referee says no and it's 1-0 to it. Arsenal. Very controversial here at Goodison Park. Now this is expected and Ketier did look like he was offside. I think this is offside from first impression. However, it is unforgivable that two Everton players stood there and put their arms up and didn't play to the whistle. You have to play to the whistle. We are playing to VAR. The goal, things are going to be allowed to play so VAR can check, which it is doing now, and it's offside. That's the right decision. It looked like Nketiah came from an offside position, and that's the right call, and it's still nil-nil. Arsenal fans are singing to Everton fans, you're going down, and the retaliation was, you bottled it. Love that. It's a not good sight for Arsenal, Martinelli coming off injured. I think he may have pulled himself when he put the ball in the back of the net. That's this for Everton. It's the first really time that they got out of their own heart. And Saliba wide. is just a brick. He's too good. He is so good, Saliba, man. He is unreal. Decore powering through. He's still going. Oh, oh, oh. It's a bad screaming for a pen. Saka is down, but it's not a head injury. Everton had a couple of men over on the left-hand side. I mean, if we're going to talk about the law, if it's not head injury, the game shouldn't be stopped. It's been a really tight-knit game. I think since Arsenal got that disallowed goal, I think Everton have been the better side. They've been creating chances in midfield well. Onana's been dictating the ball. McNeil looks dangerous on that left-hand side, but he's being asked a lot defensively as well because Arsenal look good on their right with Erdegaard, Saka and Ben White. I mean, it's really cagey. Still nil-nil. OK, half-time at Goodison Park and it is nil-nil. I mean, Arsenal dominated the first 15 minutes with a Martinelli goal that was disallowed due to Nketiah coming back from an offside position. I think Martinelli might have injured himself in the process. He's had to come off and Leandro Trossard has come on. After that, Arsenal haven't really had any chances. They've been causing problems down the right-hand side with Saka, White and Erdegaard as per. But Everton have had the better chances. Decore 
bursting through the Arsenal whole team and was ultimately tackled by Saliba. He had a shot on target that went straight at David Rea and that's really the most that the Arsenal new man in goal has had to do. It's been a really tight-knit game. Will either team find a breakthrough in the second half? For the second half, will we get a goal and will the deadlock be broken? What a start it's been to the second half at Arsenal. They have come out the blocks flying. Erdegaard just made a brilliant effort that was saved by Jordan Pippen. Will Arsenal come out meaning business? I'll tell you what, some of the tackles that I've seen today are absolutely fantastic. Two footed challenges that are just taking the man and the ball and a lit proper defending today from Everton. And for Arsenal. Oh, and yes, brilliant defending again from Everton. They didn't know that was flagged offside, but Everton's defending today has been absolutely superb. They just need to get hold of the ball in midfield and they can really create a couple of chances at this vulnerable Arsenal team. Arsenal don't look strong on that right-hand side of defensively because White keeps bombing forward, leaving gaps. Saliba's brilliant, but ultimately, if there's three on Saliba, he has no chance. That's Everton's way to score today. Green, what are you saying? I've got a notification. It's a goal. Yeah. All right, let's find out. We're trying this edge of the box tactic from the corner. It's not worked so far, but Erdegaard, Saka. Oh, it's a lovely goal. What a goal that is. What a goal that is. What a goal. Arsenal fans going crazy. What a goal that was. What a goal that was. Someone's happy, aren't you? He's trying to contain it. But it's come at a time where the game really cried out for a goal. Arsenal have been playing every corner in the second half to the edge of the box and they finally worked it well. Erdegaard, Saka pulled it back. But Trossard still had so much to do. What a finish in off the post. From the moment he left his boot, from our angle up there, it was in the back of the net. What a goal from substitute Trossard. 1-0 Arsenal. Is that the goal to win it? I think so. There's only one set of voices you can hear inside Goodison Park and it's the Arsenal voices. Rahal Zeus is in. Oh, it's another fantastic tackle. Everton hanging on. Everton just about hanging on in this game. It looks a matter of time before Arsenal get the second goal, but Everton just needs to get some passes in the midfield and try at Arsenal, because when they have, the Gunners are foot vulnerable. Give me a shot coming in here, and that has actually come off the support beam to go into level two. Sums it up. This is it, this is surely going to be game over. Oh, Pickford with a save, but there's three Arsenal players there, no Everton players, and another amazing tackle. And this time, Mikalenko just saved the game. Tackling and the defending that I've seen today has been absolutely world-class. That's game over. Like, three Arsenal players there just to put the ball in the back of the net, make it 2-0. Curtains, Gunners go home with all three points. But no, Mikalenko's got other ideas and throws himself and just blocks the ball. What an unbelievable block and tackle that was. Well, we're approaching the last five minutes and as good as Everton have been defensively, I don't recall Everton having a really good chance other than that Decore burst through and the strike that just went straight at David Rea. Um, yeah, Arsenal had all the chances but really haven't created too much of their own. It's just been a really, really tight-knit game and ultimately Arsenal found that stunning goal from Trossard and that's the difference so far. But will Everton get a chance from now till the end? I don't know, you know. And only four and in minutes. Sean Dyche is furious. There's been so many head injuries from the Arsenal players. It could be longer than that. I said six. Karim said eight. Like, four? Where'd they go out from? And that's it. Only four added minutes in which Arsenal kept the ball for the majority of it. And it's full time and Arsenal get the result that they need. A big win for the Gunners. The Arsenal fans and players know that this is a big result for them. It's been a while since they've won here. So there we go, a disappointing day for Everton, but a brilliant day for Arsenal. They managed to get a result here. It's a brilliant, brilliant win from the Gunners. Oh, they cried it out, didn't they? A stunning goal from Trossard from a sack across gave the Gunners the win. I mean, Everton, there's positives, but there's a lot of negatives as well. There just isn't any attack. There's no chance of the goals being scored. They didn't look like scoring, and ultimately they didn't. Hopefully they get things sorted, because we can't have Everton in the Championship. Well, this is the reception that the referee is getting. I don't think the referee was great today. Four added minutes is a bit of a joke. Everton fans are not happy. Arsenal players are extremely happy. It's a big, big win for Arsenal. Massive, massive win. They're up to four, still unbeaten. And the role of the title challenge goes on. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys next time, because I'm being kicked out, so that's fair enough. Peace out from Goodison.